Hello there, my beautiful, oops. <laughs> knocking stuff over. Hi there, my beautiful internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Now, as you know from a video ago, I got my running blade. This little puppy right here. By the way, she still does not have a name. So sad. Please join our live stream details on screen to help me name her next week. However, now that I can actually practice and start using her some, I wanted to take her to a local high school track. I think I can get in. I'm actually not sure. We're gonna find out. And, uh, and do some practicing. Do some playing around on my own. I haven't had uh, much time yet to actually just sort of play around and see what I can do so we're gonna head there right now all right I gotta make sure I remember my single running shoe which is working out fantastically by the way now I've mentioned this before <clears throat> But it is about 50 degrees outside, which is not terribly cold, don't get me wrong. However, it is a little bit chilly. I've not been able to find a way to wear pants yet, so I'm probably gonna be a little cold today. We probably won't spend too much time outside, but let's go do this. <laughs> Okay, friends, we have just arrived. I need to head down to the track. It's looking pretty deserted here, which I feel like is a good sign for me. There are no indoor tracks in like all of Colorado Springs, so deserted high school tracks sounds like a good idea. Idea. So on the way over here, I had an idea. I've mentioned my dad before and how he's into jogging. He's really supported this whole journey that I've been on. And uh, I just thought I'd give him a call and see if he had a few uh, free moments from work. So he's actually gonna come join me here and watch me run for the first time. Oh, that was a little loud, I'm sorry, but I am uh, very excited. So he's gonna stop by and you guys are gonna meet him in just a moment. But first, I'm gonna go get set up, warm up some, get this party started. There's literally no one else here, which is uh, ideal because, I mean, I'm cool trying new things in front of people, but also if I'm not running for one of the first times ever on my own with a, with a random audience, I'm good with that. Uh, random tidbit from my history. I remember playing a game of soccer on that field right there. I didn't go to public high school, as you know. I was a homeschool kid, uh, but I did participate in some sporting activities and that was one of them. So I think my big goal for today is really just to see like what feels good, what feels natural, what doesn't feel good, what feels super unnatural. When I was uh, practicing with Annika, I realized that my upper body felt really, really tense and really abnormal. And like I woke up the next day with shoulder pain, which is just, that's not what you expect from running, right? And so I'm looking to kind of see if I can pay attention to that tension in my back and shoulders and kind of let it go, maybe, maybe run more naturally. I don't think that's gonna happen in one day, but one can hope. So those first little steps that I'm taking on my blade, it's ridiculous how bouncy I feel. So I think I'm gonna start by a lot of warm up. I've been told that warming up is like half of running, apparently, little did I know, uh, to really get like the blood moving and really see how it feels so I'm not rushing into anything. Also, it's shockingly warm out. I don't even need this. Thank you, Colorado in December. <laughs> Thing for sure. I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned this before, but I had knee surgery on this knee uh, a number of years ago and it never really fully healed. I've done physical therapy on it previously, but then when I was on the eye walk for like nine months straight, it definitely aggravated whatever was going on with it anyways. And my knee has been fine over the last year, but I've also not done a lot to strengthen it. And I definitely feel that now. Like it feels, it feels weak and tight and a little bit painful. So I'm gonna have to be really careful with my knee. You're out of breath, it means you're warmed up, right? <laughs> Or does it mean you're out of shape? I'm not sure, but uh, I think I am warmed up and I think it is time we give jogging a shot. My hair is just not complying today. We're gonna French braid it into submission. I'm not sure if this is normal if you're new to running. My runner friends out there, please let me know. But it feels like, like I feel the impact in my whole body. I'm not sure if that's because I'm running wrong or because my joints aren't used to it. Maybe a little bit of both. So I'm, I'm gonna try some things. We're gonna play around a little bit. So just watch some of the uh, the playback of my tape. It's, it's messy, it's messy, but it just means we have a good starting point to improve from. <laughs> I mean, if I was already amazing at running, it would be a disappointing process trying to get better because it'd be that much harder. So it's good that I'm kind of terrible now. I like that logic. Would you like to say hello to my audience? Hello audience. <laughs> this is my dad. You may remember one of my goals has been to be able to go jogging with my dad because my dad here jogged uh, all throughout the time I was growing up and I could never really go with him past the age of like 13. We went for walks. But <laughs> yeah, but no, uh, not, no jogs. No jogging, but that is changing Look now. forward to it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> So the furthest I've been able to go so far is like 
I don't know, like, what is that, like a hundred meters? Hundred yards. I'm gonna see if I can make it all the way around without stopping, without hurting myself. Get set. <laughs> I fall before it starts. On your mark. Okay. Get set. Go. Oh, that was a beautiful start. Oh, yeah. Just ripping. <laughs> A good 150. So I just made it about, I think exactly halfway around. I made it from like the 50 yard line on this side, which I don't think most tracks have, to the 50 yard line on that side. So it's a good, a good starting point. I'm guessing in like a month I'll be able to at least double that. So I think that was a pretty successful day at the track for our oh, first time. Sorry, I'm following you. <laughs> you did like awesome. You. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've never really seen cool. anybody run so fast in my life. <laughs> I love being lied to. <laughs> it was good. I got halfway around, did some warm-up, did some did some sprints. Whew! I am beat. And we are Home. I don't want to stand up out of a car. My legs have worked enough today. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? No, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> Okay, now that I have some uh, carbohydrates in me, I'm feeling much better. So that was so cool to be able to do. I ran, I think about 150 meters, feet. I don't know, I still didn't get that right. Meters, feet, it's this one. I looked it up later. I have a long way to go, clearly, but also that's what I was expecting. Like I expect this to be a journey. I expect it to take a long time before it starts feeling like I'm running normally. Normally, whatever that's gonna mean. But it definitely feels like a little taste of freedom and, um, and I love it. So with that being said, this is a rather vloggy sort of video today. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you liked it. I'm definitely gonna be taking you guys on more running adventures in the future. And I'll be honest, there was more things I was probably gonna say, but uh, I feel like running has zapped my brain of the power to put words together. So we're gonna leave it here. Thank you so much to my patrons over on Patreon for supporting these videos. I truly cannot thank you enough for everything that you do for me. And to you watching this video, thank you so much for spending a few minutes out of your day here with me today. You could be anywhere in the world doing absolutely anything. And you chose to hang out with me for a few minutes and watch me run rather ineffectively, but I was running and um, that means a lot to me. So thank you. I love you guys. I'm thinking about you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.